Hey there, my name is Vitan, and it's time to play some more Doom 2 with Alien Vendetta's Map 9, Castle Gardens. If you ever forget this map's name, just open the other map, scroll to the right for a bit, and up, <laughs> and look, Castle Gardens. Just a fun little addition. Then behind you is the SSG and the shotgun, and listen to this MIDI. You have those two alternating notes, and that sounds really interesting, it grabs your attention for sure. Really makes me think, what is happening? That's not in a bad way at all, I'm, I'm very sure it's done on purpose. And the MIDI will get going in just a bit. Okay, let's kill the two Spectres on the other side as well. Careful for the blood pool. And here we have secret number one. It basically opens itself when you get close to it. But you get a very nice... Oh, and did you see the texture? It uh, kind of scrolled up together with the door. <laughs> Weird. You get a nice mega armor. And yes, there are seven secrets here in this map. Uh, kind of like the last map, a lot of secret hunting. But the map itself isn't that hard at all. Okay, here we have a hallway with... Some shotgunners. And then we get two rooms with basically half of the kill count of the map. And maybe the chain gunner can invite. Yeah, there we go. Just invite with uh, the revenant. We have all these zombie men. And before I move on, uh, what I want to do is go through. This hallway of imps. Grab the rocket launcher here. Be careful, there's gonna be four mancubi, but I will ignore them for now. Grab these rockets. And let's kill you as well. But these rockets, I just wanna go here and blow everything up. And hopefully not die. But it's so satisfying. And look, we're we're already at half of the kill count. It's crazy. Okay. Now, uh you know what? Let's first go over here. So this area is done. Just a few imps, but we also get the red key. And yeah, you can hear a lot of breathing. I'm pretty sure there's like a monster closet here that is going to be used later on. And now for some secrets. In this room, there are three secrets in a row, basically. First, let's kill the Baron, so he doesn't snipe us. Oh right, and there's also an Arachitron here, which we will get to uh, in one of the secrets, but you can kill him. Like this, if you'd want to, but it's kind of awkward because, uh, yeah, as you can see, you have to, I don't know, it doesn't always work. Oh, there we go. Should almost be that. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, secret number two is right here. There's the bloodfall, but you can walk through the southern section. Is it? No, it's the eastern section. But it feels like the south. Just run through and you'll get the BFG. Then another secret is right here. This differently textured wall. You get the Berserk. And when you open this wall, there's gonna be another secret right here. With some health and armor bonuses and two medikits. So yeah, three secrets in one room. That's uh, quite a lot. Then another secret is right here. And this really reminds me of map 1, where you had the, the green torch thing as well. But you interact with this, you run to this hallway, and basically... No, I was too late. Okay, let's kill the pinkies first then. Try again. Go through. If I don't get stuck. Okay, there we go. Kill these lost souls. And 
careful when you go up the elevator because there is a mancubus very nearby. And of course that can be dangerous. But as a reward you get a soul sphere. So that's five secrets already. Let's see. We left some mancubi behind I believe. So let's take those out. I guess we can use rockets. Uh, if I hit them. Okay, I'll take out these guys with the SSG and then the other two with the rocket launcher. There we go. And here is another hallway filled with pinkies. I'm gonna save my BFG shot for a bit later. Uh, I think everything is dead here now. Yep. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I think like the sides of these of this door also kind of looked messed up. Don't know if you uh, saw it. Okay, here we have two cacos. Can be a bit awkward to fight if you're on the staircase. Then here a mancubus, but be careful because the wall behind you is gonna open up if you walk too far. I'm just gonna grab my BFG. We get more cells here anyway. Uh, uh, do I want to use a rocket here? No, I don't think so. <laughs> that might be a bit too crazy. All right. Okay. Now, let's first kill an archfall on this side. It's easy to take out. If you hit that switch, uh, the floor here is gonna lower. But first, we want to grab blue key, and I think this is the nastiest trap of the map. When you grab it, there's gonna be like 15, maybe 20 chain gunners. So I suggest hiding behind the bookcases. Like so. Wait for them to spawn in for a bit. Then let's grab the BFG. And... Just take them out. But yeah, there are quite a lot of them. Okay. Now we have the blue key. And there's also another secret. There's a switch on this bookcase. You have to be quick once again. Because this wall's gonna lower. That's secret number six. And the secret itself doesn't really give anything except that pinky, I guess. And secret number seven is through the teleporter. And then you arrive at the Arachnotron that we killed earlier. So yeah, kind of weird that that counts as two secrets for some reason. And the only reward is, well, some health and the blur sphere, which you don't really want. Oh, I guess you could have gotten the... No, never mind. Well, you could have gone on the Blur Sphere first, and then uh, went for these Chain Gunners. That probably would have been the better order, if you don't want to take too much damage. So, uh, kind of uh, stupid for me. Anyway, let's move on, hit the switch, go down here. Go through a hallway with Hell Knights, which is not ideal with the Blur Sphere. Especially because I don't have armor. But we can survive one hit. Oh. I just know that I'm gonna get hit at least once. Or not, because the blur sphere is gone. Oh, thanks, Mancubus. Very nice of you. Yeah, basically all that's left are three Hell Knights and then the map is done. Of course, I missed one item once again. I could very quickly look for it, but... <laughs> Maybe one quick check. I just want to know what it is. Is it like one of the Hell for Armor bonuses? 
Right here? Oh no, it's not. Then I actually have no clue. I know there's armor here that I left behind, but that doesn't count as an item. Well, in that case, I do not know. Let's uh, exit the level then. I'm sure you will probably have noticed and you might be screaming like, Oh, it's this item! <laughs> but uh, yeah, unlucky. You simply go through this door, walk forward, and that's the exit. Castle Gardens. I think it's a fine map. I don't love it nearly as much as the last one. I think you have a lot... Well, there's a lot of brown in this level. And kind of like map 1 as well. A bit too much brown. A bit too much of the same color. And that always drags a map down for me. Like, what I loved about Beast Island is... Like, the variety uh, of settings, colors. You have the caves, a lot of different types of lighting. Uh, that's kind of what I'm missing here. But I still like the map. It's fun to... Look for the secrets, even though there are like three in one room, but still, it's fun. See you in map 10, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.